Hello, welcome to Playbox Neo How to Get Ready to Play series. In this uh, video, we will discuss streaming input output options and setting up. Uh, this is uh, episode one of basic settings, and there'll be episode two advanced settings. So please check it out also. Let's get started. If I go to my input section, as you can see in the previous videos, I was able to define physical inputs. This is a decklink card, a virtual input, which is my screen recording source, uh, which I'm recording all of this uh, videos with. Also, uh, I can add more, more sources. And yeah, example, for example, is, uh, is another option. I can select source, shows me everything that is available on the network that I am in. And you can see immediately this is already uh, assigned and you can see it in the multi viewer. That is great. So from my show inputs window, I can select uh, other sources that I have defined. Let's say I'll select the live in. Remember the live in is a video card black magic design that I use that I have looped the other black magic extreme into it so you can see how I can do some switching um, and for example I have this NDI coming into the machine but I want to output it as a SDI so in this case uh, new suite will act as a converter transcoder if you will for from NDI to the physical SDI output and this is done very easily by going to our IO settings. You see, I have the output, which is the decklink 4K and currently it's disconnected. So it takes no source from the internal available sources, but I can select one of those. And to be more clear how this works, I will create second tab in this browser and I'll just move it here select my uh, multi viewer on the top so you can see how this happens in real time I will select uh, I will select the NDI source to go there which will go out of the extreme card and comes back to the live in on the SDI uh, dual card and by pressing take it happens. So right now I have a NDI stream coming out as SDI. You can do this with uh, all the formats that are decoded on the on the new switch system. So let's continue to our to our streaming options. First, if I go to my input output section, you will see we have the inputs. We discussed it. We had the outputs. By the way in any of these input output and streaming sections you see the black dot here you can press it and select color this makes things a little bit easier to identify based on type of signal based on channel or machine it's up to you you can select uh, color coding so this gives you a little bit of better visual feedback okay so first before we get into these inputs and outputs we need to define some streams. In order to do this, we have to go to the streaming tab and define sources. I have a couple of sources coming in. Uh, this one is a SRT, I call it SRT backup, on a specific port coming from another machine. This is my local machine. I have it set up here, and as you can see, it is it is working, shows me some information about uh, the megabits and so on, if I have a loss of the stream and so on. And the other one, it's uh, again SRT stream coming into the system uh, on a different port, pretty much is same parameters. You can see I have them here. You see, I have other streams defined and there is no there there is no data. So it says waiting for data there. OK, 
But if I go to my MultiViewer, I don't see these streams. This is because they're just defined as a IP compressed transport streams, but they're not decoded yet in the system. So I need to go to my input outputs. I define them as a stream as once, but I need to create a decoding point in my input. So I will go here, I will say streaming in input, and I will call this main SRT. The network source will be my SRT main that I created in the previous page. Program, if it's a multi-program stream, you can select auto or select specific uh, program. How do you prefer decoding to happen? To have an alarm. Okay, so I have this stream. I'll even color it red so I can see it. And let me add the second stream. Again, streaming. Backup, SRT, SRT backup, program auto, GPU, enabled, yes. So if I go, I'll make this one also red. So red means streaming in my case here. So you can see right now I have the backup, I have, uh, this is the physical uh, SDI input. I have the main streaming input and I have one NDI source. I can go and transfer this stream again to the SDI and I'll have decoding of streaming into the SDI if I wish. Again, let me go and just duplicate my window. Go to my input outputs. Output, we're looking into this live in where I have the output looped into the SDI out of the extreme. And I can select that I want to see the main SRT signal. As you can see, main SRT signal is on my SDI right now. That makes it very easy to convert between formats and streams and so on. You can create all these uh, destination points and you can select, same thing goes here in sources, you can create destination outputs and send one stream to multiple destination outputs. So this way you can split it. You can create different format, different protocol destination ports like SRT will go into UDP or UDP on your local network will be set up to a couple of SRT destination points and so on. In this case here in the streaming tabs, there is no decoding happening. So you will not see it on the monitor here, obviously. But if you want to monitor these points, you have to create this streaming inputs as I shown you into the input section and we can see them. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you check the section the section two of this video streaming input output advanced settings thank you